Okay, here we are. We're going to do a belt change on the new Razor Turbo R. It's very similar to the Turbo S, the XP Turbo, but it's nothing like the Pro R. We use a speed gun to make everything a, a little quicker, especially for video, but we take this snorkel off initially and then we can twist it out of the way when we access all these bolts. Um, the bolts take an eight millimeter, a five sixteenths will work also. Eight millimeters the best. And we also have a little U-joint and an extension on our, uh, on our gun because you'll need that U-joint for when you hit the bolt behind the shock. One thing we're still bummed about that Polaris hasn't turned one of these bolts into a quarter 20 bolt that can be used to spread the clutch sheath. You still have to use the bolt supplied in the tool kit or come up with your own. You can get one at a hardware store, it's quarter 20 thread pitch but it's really hard to find one with the same head. You'll mostly find one with a 10 millimeter head. Okay, cover comes off like that. Cover comes off a heck of a lot easier because the car's wider. So there's more room between the shock and the uh, clutch cover. Okay, there's that key. It comes in your Polaris tool kit. This takes some time. That's why uh, you can source your own quarter 20 bolt, but the stock one works. We always leave the stock one in there just in case we lose our quarter 20 bolt, but we didn't bring it for this video. So it's about 20 full rotations. You want to go until it all the way bottoms out. It just makes life easier when you're trying to get that belt out because the tolerances are so tight these days with this new clutch cover. Okay, let's see if it'll come out now. Grab from the bottom, rotate secondary. Okay, it's not gonna work, let's try. Grab it from the top. Let the secondary rotate. Hold the belt, try to try to guide the belt away from the clutch. It should start popping out. There we go. And slip it away from the primary. So our inspections always start on the inside. You look between the cogs and look for fraying. There's a little bit of fraying. This has 600 and, no, sorry, 705 miles on it. Um, the fraying means it's going to break. Um, this one probably isn't going to break anytime soon, but on the edges, we're getting very glazed. And on takeoff, it was uh, kind of slipping. So that's kind of why we wanted to change it. We wanted to inspect it and change it. So we're going to put the G-Force Redline belt. One of the strongest belts you can get. Again, just like um, a stock belt, you want to read the numbers. Like as you, if you're looking at the, the whole deal from the top. And uh, we'll put that back on in reverse order. If we weren't out on the trail, we would blow this cover out and the clutch area out. We'd clean the sheath better, but we're out getting ready to ride and on the trail, so can't do that today. So go see if got it on the primary first, and then let's put it on the secondary. Just reverse it how we took it off. There we go. And then uh, back this part off. And 
and then give it a little spin so it tightens back up. So when you put the cover back on, it doesn't pinch on the side of the belt. That's it, that's a Razor Turbo R belt change.